Hello, this is Mr. Buffington. Today we are adding and subtracting negative numbers with no number lines. That's right, we're getting rid of the training wheels and we're going to learn some rules for adding negative numbers. Let's get into it. First off, we're going to talk about adding negatives and then we're going to talk about subtracting negatives. I'm going to show you some examples and then teach the rules. So if you want to skip ahead to the rules, that's fine too but know that we are going to show examples and talk about the rules that you need to know. First off, the most basic type of negative example that I can think of is temperature because we deal with negative temperatures all the time. Well, not all the time depending on where you're living. Another example is diving. If you dive down below the surface, then you're going um, like 10 feet down would be a negative 10 foot. And the third example that you will see today is money because sometimes we can think of money in terms of positives and negatives, gaining and losing or being in debt and owing money. So these have practical applications in the real world and I'm going to try and use those examples to help illustrate what we're doing. Now, let's go ahead and think about negatives for a second. If I start at negative 5 and the temperature drops 4 degrees, what does that mean? Well, it means it's going down four more degrees. So I'm starting there and then it's going down. What, what would we say the temperature is then? Started at negative five, went down four. It's going to go down to negative nine. Negative nine is less than negative five. Just remember that. And we've done this on number lines, but it's good to think about that as well that even though the number itself, 9, is bigger than the number 5, th when working with negatives, that means the number is less. Negative 9 is less than negative 5. Negative 9 is a lower temperature than negative 5. All right. In math terms, we would write it as this. Negative 5 minus 4 equals negative 9 degrees. Now let's try to solve a question that looks similar to this. Negative 7 minus 5. How would you solve that? Negative 7 minus 5. Did you get negative 12? Right? We had negative 7, we subtracted 5, now we have negative 12. It started at negative 7, it dropped 5 more, now it's at negative 12. And that's how we solve this type of question. Now let's talk about adding negatives with diving. If I'm three feet under the water and I swim down another five feet, let's write it out. Take out your notebook and write out how would you write that as a subtraction expression. You'd write negative three plus negative five. Or, um, and this is the way we would write it if we were saying adding negatives. You can also write this as negative three minus five. They mean the same thing. But for this question, we are writing it down as addition. So it'd be negative three plus negative five, which means we start at negative three and we go down negative five or down five more, which brings us down to negative eight or I'm eight feet below the surface. Let's do another one. I want you to try this one out. Negative six plus negative 22. Try that one out. Pause the recording and come on back. Hey, welcome back. Did you do it? Really? Did you? Or did you just keep watching? I keep getting comments from people saying that they just keep watching. Anyway, if you did that and you got negative 28, that's correct. If you didn't do it, there's the answer for you. Wow, I'm the worst teacher ever. I just give the answers away. All right. First rule that we have talked about and shown. When you have a negative minus another number, like negative 5 minus 6, you get a larger number that is more negative. Now, I say larger number, I mean larger absolute value of 11, which is actually a smaller number. The other way we can write this is negative 5 plus negative 6 equals negative 11. Both of those statements are correct, and they both do basically the same thing. What we're looking at is if you have the same sign, you find the sum. In other words, if I have negatives here and or here, and they're the same, you add them together. So instead of saying, now you know that rule, now instead of doing negative 5 minus 6, you can do 5 plus 6 is 11, and we keep the sign. 
A negative plus a negative gives you an even bigger negative. Or in other words, if the signs are the same, find the sum and then keep the sign. This also works for positive numbers. The signs are the same. It's positive 5 plus positive 6 gives you positive 11. You find the sum. You add the numbers and keep the sign of a positive. It's the same for negatives. All right, that's our first rule for today when we are adding numbers that have the same sign. Let's move on to negatives. And we're going to use money as an example for this. If I had, I have $12 and I spend $5, how much do I have left? In these examples, what we're going to do is actually have numbers that have different signs, you'll notice, right? Because I have positive 12 and I spend 5, which means I had 12 and I take away 5, or 12 minus 5, which gives me 7. We know this when we're working with positive numbers, 12 and I take away 5. I have seven. But we're going to move into these examples where we maybe end up with negatives or maybe we start with a negative and we'll see what happens. All right, let's do a question with temperature. It's negative three degrees and it heats up by 20 degrees. What's our temperature? We're joining together a negative, negative three, and a positive, positive 20. So when we write it out, it would be negative three plus 20. And this is a challenging thing because we're joining together numbers that are positive and negative. But if you started at negative 3 and then the temperature went up 20 degrees, you would, it would rise up to positive 17. There it is. Let's look at another example. If it's negative 15 degrees and it heats up, to, it heats up 8 degrees, what's the temperature? That's starting with negative 15 and adding 8. And if we start at negative 15 and we only go up 8, we're still negative. We're at negative 7. It's, so it's negative 7 degrees. And our last example, I think, on this one is it is 6 degrees and the temperature drops by 8 degrees. What is the temperature? So in this one, we start above 0 and we're going down 8 degrees. The way we would write this out is 6 minus 8 or 6 plus negative 8 and that would give us negative 2. In all of these examples, we have added or subtracted, but we've had different signs for each number, and we've had different results across the board. So here's the rule for adding or subtracting numbers when you've got different signs. Here are the question types. We had a negative 8 plus a positive 6. We had a negative 6 plus a positive 8. We had 8 minus 6, and we had 6 minus 8. These are four different question types. And you notice that the signs in each of them are different, like I said before. We got negative 8, positive 6. Negative 6, positive 8. Positive 8 and negative 6, or positive 6 and negative 8. When the signs are different, here's the rule. Find the difference. That kind of rings nicely, doesn't it? When the signs are different, find the difference. Or different signs find the difference. So you would take those two numbers, 8 and 6, and you'd subtract. 8 minus 6 is 2. Now, even when it's written six, negative 6 plus 8, we would still rearrange it for subtracting. Put the larger absolute value first. So 8 minus 6, which would give us 2. And then the final answer sign comes from the, and I put larger number in quotation marks, it's the larger absolute value or the bigger number if you ignore the signs. So you can see in our first example, negative 8 plus 6. 8 was the larger absolute value. 8 is bigger than 6. If you ignore the signs, there's 8 negatives and 6 positives. So our final answer is going to be negative. There's no more negatives than there are positives. Whereas if you go across to negative 6 plus 8, there's more positives. There's 8 positives and there's only 6 negatives. I know this lesson's kind of getting long, but this is the hardest rule for people to learn with adding and subtracting integers. This one. Trying to understand where the final answer comes from, the sign of the final answer, whether it's positive or negative. If there's more negatives, your final answer is going to be negative. If there's more positives, your final answer is going to be positive. Just like if with money. If you have more positive money than negative, you've got a 
a plus in your bank account. If the temperature, if there's more increasing than there's decreasing, then it's going up or it's positive. All right, let's take a look at um, this here, eight plus negative six, same exact um, response there. And those ones I just added in there because um, we know that eight minus six is the same as eight plus negative six. We're going to get into one last example. And this example is the tricky example that is often used um, in math tests and math questions. And you'll always see it if you're talking about positives and negatives, and that's subtracting negatives. This is what it would look like in, in an actual question. If it's negative 30 and I take that away. So if I take away negative 30 degrees, that means the temperature is actually rising. I'm taking away a negative. Think about that. I'm taking away a negative, All right? Subtracting a negative means a positive. It's the same as I'm um, like, if there's someone in your circle of friends who's really negative and you take them away, you're like, wow, this conversation just got a lot more positive. Or if you take away a debt, like I owe $5, therefore I'm, my money is negative $5 and I take that away. I'm taking away your debt. You're actually increasing the amount of money you have, right? You're so this is kind of a difficult um, concept, but it's one that you will definitely see in your math problems. So here we go. This is an example of how it would work. 12 minus negative four, which is the same as 12 plus four. 12 minus negative four is the same as 12 plus four. Basically, if you ever see this, you change it. If you ever see that minus negative there, I changed it into blue, change it into a positive. Let's just practice for a little bit. If I had negative three minus negative two, I would change it to negative three plus two. Notice that minus negative became positive. That's this rule. It's kind of harder to explain than it is to just show examples of, but there it is. Negative three plus two equals negative one, all right? You have to remember all the previous rules for joining together positive and negative numbers, but this one here, whenever you see that minus negative, change it to positive. Let's do um, a couple more and we'll talk about the rule here. Again, the rule is just switch it to being a positive. So if you have negative four minus negative five, boom, it becomes negative four plus five. And because there's five positives and one negative, the final answer is positive one. If I have negative five plus negative four, how would that work out? Think about that one for a second. What would it look like? Boom, it'd become plus four. All right, and our last example, four minus negative five, that one's super easy because it becomes four plus five. Boom, and the answer is nine. So that one, although it looks really complex, is actually really simple. That's going back to like stuff that you've done a long time ago. So every time you see that minus negative, make it into a positive and then add, add like normal. Or if there's a negative then involved, then you would subtract like normal. You're just joining together those numbers. Whenever you see that um, minus negative, make it into a positive, rewrite the expression out and it'll make your life easier. All right, let's do some quick practice. Negative three minus negative or negative six, <laughs> I can't speak. Negative six minus negative 13, write that out in your notebook, try it out and come back for the solution. Did you write it out as negative six plus 13? If so, good job. And when we have a negative and a positive, we subtract, right? Different signs find the difference. So 13 minus six is seven and it would be positive or negative. Well, there's 13 positives and six negatives, so our final answer is going to be positive seven. All right, let's do another practice. I want you to write this one down, try it out, go. Welcome back. This became 12 plus 26. No difficult rules here. Same signs, find the sum. It's a positive plus a positive. It gives you, boom, a positive. Straightforward, that one was kind of an easy practice question. Just remembering that minus negative becomes a positive. Let's look at this one, 543 plus 620, negative 622. The signs are different. I'm adding a positive plus a negative. 
So the signs are different, I find the difference. So I'm going to subtract. Take the 622 minus 543, that leaves me with 79. Now I also have to think about what my final answer is going to be. Is it going to be positive or negative? Look at those two numbers. There's 622 negatives, there's 543 positives. There's more negatives than positives, so my final answer will be negative 79. This is where the challenging questions come in. It's questions like this. We get bigger numbers, we get um, questions like that. All right, another practice, negative 74 plus negative 10. The signs are the same. I have a negative plus a negative. So I'm going to keep them and find the sum, negative 84. Pretty straightforward. You can add those numbers if you'd like, but 74 and 10 is 84, and it stays a negative. All right, another one, negative 125 minus negative 379. Go for it, try that one out. First step with this is to change that minus negative into a positive. The signs are different, so I'm going to subtract. 379 minus 125 gives me 254. And then I look at the sign. Is this going to be positive 254 or negative 254? Well, look at the two numbers I joined together. There's 125 negatives. There's 379 positives. There's more positives than negatives, so that's going to be my final answer. Positive 254. A couple things to keep in mind. If the signs are the same, find the sum. If the signs are different, find the difference. And remember the visuals that you've learned with the number lines, with diving, with money, with temperature. All of those things can help, but knowing the rules will help you outside of when you have the number lines available. I hope that video was helpful for you. As always, have a wonderful day.